I'm here with Stephen Keshi, we've got the head coach of uh, Nigerian international football team. Stephen, good to have you here. Thanks for having me. That's good stuff, mate. So, part of the show, we're talking about what it takes to make a great footballer. What's the difference between someone who's a, not only a good footballer, but a great footballer? What would you say? Well, I think, in my opinion, it would be you know, the intelligence of that player, um, the vision and the discipline of the player, a lot, a lot of elements that comes to play that makes you a great player versus a mediocre player who um, doesn't really um, use his IQ better okay. in deciding, in, in managing himself and, and whatever he does on the field. The most important thing is the IQ, the intelligence of playing the game because, you know, football players, uh, the great football players are like surgeons, you know, they're just like top uh, uh, lawyers because you have to research, you have to think, and you have a very split second to think about what to do with the ball. And, uh, and people, players like Messi and Ronaldo and Kaká, uh, these are great players because, you know, the, the IQ is very high. They've got that football mind, they yeah. know how the game works. Exactly. And, yeah. and how do you help the players deal with the pressure of playing at the top level? Well, how do I do that? I, I try to make them relax. Um, mostly when we're not playing. Yep. Like now we just finished training and I have a game in two or three days. I just, you know, make them, if there's a way I can get them out of the hotel, you know, not thinking about football, just relax ourselves, uh, you know, walk around a little bit, just take their mind off it mm. and, you know, pop the question to me. Let me have it. Okay. And, uh, I think sometimes it works. It works good. Sometimes it works half. But mm. So you yeah. want the players to be open and honest with you about how they're feeling. Exactly. And, I mm. like I like them to be um, to have intimacy with me, uh, for me to know them better and to share where whatever is going on with us. And uh, you know because if you can, if I can share whatever I have with you. I feel more lighter in my head, yeah. in my mind. I say, okay, at least, I'm, you know. But if I cannot do that with my coach or somebody else, then uh, everything is packed up there. Yeah. And nothing is working well. I was quite amazed at how intense the session was in terms of, you know, tackles were flying in. It was really high impact, wasn't it, in high intensity. When I don't have that game feeling in training section, my, my um, goal or my objective is not, because I've, I've not attained my objective mm. because, you know, is when your body lay in motion, it's just going to give you the same, yeah. it's the same stuff. But if it's in, in that intensity, in that game speed, and the boys, they know in their mind, this is much situation. And this is the way I like to operate. Mm. My situation, training section, and just take it from there. How important would you say is the mental strength of, of the players? It's very important. I think it's not just players' sake, you know. It's, I think it's everybody. Your mental toughness state, statement is, is very, very crucial in you developing or achieving what you want to achieve. Mm. Uh, I like to deal with my players when it comes to their, you know, uh, toughness, you know, mm. because um, some of them might be weak during the game time, too much pressure, but when you coach them in the training section or, you know, just hanging out in the lobby or in the room, talk to them about how they're going to be strong mm. mentally, um, it helps a great deal. And finally, if you had to give uh, some advice to young players. You know, they've got lots of viewers who uh, be dying to know from a top coach, what, what do they need to do to really get to that top level? What's the, if you had to give one piece of advice to up and coming players, what would it be? Um, young players, you have to know what you want to start with, and you need to set up that self-discipline. 
-hmm. Self-discipline um, goes a very long way mm -hmm. in, in us achieving what we want to achieve. Because um, if you don't have that, you have the intensity of thinking, okay, I have the skill, I have the potential, uh, I can do it anytime I want, but you don't have the discipline to control yourself or mm. manage yourself by sleeping on time, know what to have to eat, know when to go out, when not mm. to go out, and all these things plays a very long way mm. in, um, in developing yourself to be a great mm. player. So it's not only being disciplined when you're on the pitch or when you're training, but no. it's your whole life. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Brilliant. That's really helpful. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you very Appreciate much for your time. Good to meet you. you.